Hey guys, hope you are doing great. Asmita here. Today we are going to pour resin into this tray mold and I'm using Mars Arch Pro for the first time. So what I'm doing is I have this big cup here and I have put uh, almost six ounces of my part A into this. So for mixing, I'm taking this bigger cup and slowly we will go ahead and uh, I am adding my part B now. So this is a one is to one ratio. So six ounces of part A and then six ounces of my part B. all right um i have these cups and bigger star sticks from total boat epoxy who i really love for these goodies um so here i am going to be mixing my epoxy slowly um, in the meantime, while I'm mixing my epoxy, uh, I'll show you a quick process about how to know if your epoxy is completely mixed. Look at that. Do you see those uh, strings there? The hardener and the resin, we can see those are separate. And while I mix it slowly, you will see that this will dissolve into one liquid. And it takes almost three, four minutes for any epoxy to mix completely. Um, it depends a lot about the quantity. So if you are doing just uh, 20, 30 ml, obviously it will uh, take lesser time. And if you are doing a bucket full, it will take longer time so you have to see uh, what the time is like and the quantity and once you know your epoxy is mixed you can divide it into smaller batches so that the heat inside the epoxy doesn't make it set that quickly in the warmer weather it really is important that we take care of the temperature in which we are working otherwise the epoxy tends to set very quickly because of the exothermic reactions so i have that uh, tray mold from shop resin molds and uh, in the middle i have put some crushed glass pieces which are the Drosy crystals that I get from Unicorn Art. I'll link them both in the description box as well. These cups are from Total Bolt and these bigger stir sticks for the bigger quantities. I always use these ones. As you can see, the epoxy has started to mix. While I am mixing this, I'm making sure I am scraping the sides and the bottom of the cup. Maybe a couple more minutes and we'll be done with the mixing. So I'm doing it with a very light but steady hand. If you mix it vigorously, uh, obviously you will have more bubbles, but with a heat gun or torch, you can always take care of the bubbles. And I 
always make sure that I work in a very very well ventilated area so that the fumes do not get inside me straight away and if I'm not making videos for you guys and if I'm just pouring on my own I make sure that I put a respirator on and once the pour is done I make sure that uh, nobody is allowed into the room where uh, the epoxy cures As you can see now I am mixing a little more faster because I want to lift all the heavier parts up which might not have mixed and settled in the bottom of the cup. Okay, since we are done with the mixing, now let me quickly put on my gloves. Uh, make sure the epoxy doesn't have a direct skin contact. And if at all that happens, uh, I have this brand new product from Unicorn Art which is the gel cleanser for hands. It works really well. Uh, so I keep that close to me as well. If by an accident uh, some drops of epoxy touch my skin, I quickly uh, clean my hands with that and uh, then I go and wash them with warm soapy water. Alright, as you can see that the epoxy looks great, completely mixed up. And once more, just scraping all the sides and the bottom of the cup. This is the way how you can check it if it is completely mixed or not. You will see the streaks when you let your epoxy flow down into the cup. So this one looks great and uh, this is almost 350 ml that is 12 ounces. All right. Now I have the crushed glass here in the middle of the tray and the design we are going to be doing today would be the pink coasters that I have video on uh, my YouTube as well as on my Instagram. So we'll be trying to make this into a complete set. So for that, I have a few of my pigments here. This is my icicle from Eye Candy Pigments. Um, so that's the icicle. Um, then I have my pearl white from the Black Diamond Pigments. And here again, I have my little bit of pink pearl mix here, 
with a hint of flamingo from counterculture diy so i've just taken this much um, now let us pour the epoxy into these So that's my pink, that's my icicle, and that would be the pearl white. Alright. Also, I'm going to be just putting some epoxy clear layer into this mold now so i am starting from the edges Right now I have my stir secure and I'm mixing my pearl white pigment Again, just make sure that all of the pigment is mixed and always try that you do not exceed the 10% mark. So it has to be the 10th part of the amount of epoxy that you're using. So that's the ratio between the pigment and your epoxy. So mixing my pinks here. Um, after a lot of uh, experiments, now I have uh, found this pink which works great for me and uh, this looks like a baby pink in the final artwork so that's what i have been going for and uh, this is my icicle and i'm taking a silicone spatula to mix this one As you can see, I am mixing these for at least more than a minute so that uh, none of your pigment powders sit in the bottom of the cup, otherwise they will, otherwise they will form lumps and uh, won't give enough pigment to your resin. So that's the icicle that's our pink and that's our white pearl 
so these are all ready and as you can see the bubbles have already started to rise on the top of the cup now i am putting these aside and uh, i'll be taking my heat gun and i'm going to slowly heat up the resin that i poured clear over my glass now I'm just making sure that I empty the cup So I'm just scraping all the sides and the bottom of this cup so that there is no residue left inside this because then we will leave it to cure and all right so I think my uh, clear epoxy which was in this cup is all out in the mold So now I am taking my heat gun and I'm going to heat this up a little bit. That looks great um, I will just take my stick again and check if there are any bubbles that are hiding in the sides or in the edges of this mold let's bring those a little inside so that we are able to pop them and this is a very important step I always emphasize that if you put your clear uh, nicely when you are going to use your mold for the first time uh, that uh, should be done with utmost care um, I think I forgot to mention that I also added some silver leaf slates uh, into this uh, box of my crystals so um, most of the times when i am using the crystals from this box uh, there are some flakes that are already there in my this box okay so 
I think I am good there with the bubbles. Um, okay, um, let me once more go ahead with my heat gun. So, um, since we have done the edges, now I'll go ahead with my pink mix here. And I am going to heat it up a little bit so that the bubbles that have risen to the top are not there anymore. I'm blowing them. Now there are some on the sides. So as far as this epoxy is concerned, I'm using it for the first time and I'm happy the way uh, it mixed easily and the working time. So now I'm going ahead and slowly pouring my pink on the edges. Okay, as you can see, I have made sure that all the contents of my pink mix are out in the mold. If you see any unwanted objects, try to take them out since I reuse my cups. So that happens a lot of time that something comes in but that's okay it's very easy to pick those things up and it's worth reusing your plastic uh, now i'm going to heat up your um the pearl white uh, as you can see i'm doing it uh, one by one so that i do not heat up my epoxy at once okay so that's our pearl white here and now i'm going to be pouring my pearl white over my pink So I'm just making sure I am pouring right towards the edges and I'm not going in the middle with any of my pigments. Uh, similarly, like I emptied my pink container, I am doing the same thing with this one and I'm using up all of my pearl white by pouring it into the tray mold
I hate to waste my supplies um, because I do a lot of hard work so I know it's uh, worth using till the last drop I'm just running this um, stick that I used in the pearl white on all the edges this way again I'm making sure there are no air bubbles on the edges if there would be any now they will start to emerge on the top layer now I am taking my heat gun and slowly I'll be heating this epoxy Now I see that my mold has one smooth layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up. Do you see all the bubbles that have risen to the surface? Let's just put it there and I'll show you how they dissipate. That's our icicle. I'm going ahead mixing it once more since these are flakes, so they tend to settle in the bottom of the cup. And now I'm going ahead and again I'm doing the same thing, pouring my icicle flakes towards the edges. right I have a little bit left here so I'm keeping that aside and I'm going ahead with my heat gun just once more Okay, um, now with my silver uh, stir stick or the spatula, I'm going to be pushing slowly my silver into the middle.
So I am not going on the bottom layers. I am only making sure that I touch just the top layer of my epoxy, which is my icicle. And I'm just making sure that all the glass pieces are completely submerged okay uh, as you can see there are some bubbles some cells that are coming up I'm quickly going ahead and with high heat now I will start giving a final glow of heat So I just went ahead and gave one final blow of heat on my high heat setting on the heat gun. Um, so we'll leave this to sit like this for the next 10-12 hours. And uh, I'll be uploading the cured piece uh, picture or maybe a small video a short video on my instagram as well as my youtube so stay tuned guys and please follow me and hit the like and subscribe button and i need your support because i'm doing all these free tutorials during my initiative art for mental health and therapy uh, wherein I'm teaching all that I know free of cost to everybody who wants to learn during this COVID crisis. Uh, so check my other videos as well and share some love. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.